particularly the, uh, the, the bias we see in the Western media about uh, the Iranian, the Muslim woman. And this is what we have to work to overcome through both the language, the language, is a, the language barrier is an issue, but also uh, through methods that we can employ to engage, uh, to communicate. Uh, dialogue is very important. We need to engage in dialogue. We need to uh, give and take in terms of uh, many of the concepts, many of the common issues that we have, many of the challenges that we're facing uh, in Iran. Uh, I think it's, it's very now, now that we're facing the sanctions, it's very important for the international community to understand the pressures that are uh, imposed upon the Iranian people, upon the Iranian woman, upon the Iranian family, uh, the health issues that we're facing, the economic issues that we're facing, uh, the issues that we're facing in terms of employment due to these illegal sanctions imposed by the American government on our people. It's very important to uh, be able to engage, express ourselves, and to be able to uh, uh, pass on this very important information. Part of it is a language issue, part of it is the public diplomacy. We need to engage in public diplomacy. I've done my best, I have an English <laughs> Twitter, and I, in, in addition to the Persian Twitter, I also tweet sometimes. Uh, yeah. I don't have much time, but I try to tweet in English as well. So, so as you said, um, why our senior official don't know second language? They have to work more. It's sometimes <laughs> it's because of our educational system, uh, and sometimes it's because they they need to pay more attention to this issue. They they need to devote more time. But I think that's changing. We're having more and more people. Uh, who can uh, communicate well in English, but uh, it's, as you mentioned very correctly, it's very important and uh, we need to work on this issue. We wish so.